Hey everyone, it's Fun Around and my name is Jordan and we finally had a losing day. I've had a streak going of profitable days taking a lot of picks and it finally happened where it's a losing day and uh, a lot of people who I guess were in hiding uh, just wanted to come out of nowhere and start hating. So to those haters, yeah, leave the channel, please go find another channel that wins every single day and doesn't have a losing day. So with that said, uh, this is going to be a Sunday slate. And like I said last week, Sundays are a little weird. Um, I do have uh, a few picks. I didn't go too crazy because this, this slate is a little weird and I am watching the, uh, the, the UFC card right now. Um, so I'm just, I found some picks that I like. Obviously still gonna stick with the way I do things. Losing days happen. So you will see images that come up on the screen those will be from a data app called outlier there will be a link in the description that will give you a seven day free trial for outlier and teams that are on a back-to-back -back, we're going to have the nets who are on the road against the fresh cleveland cavaliers and then the clippers would be on a back-to-back -back at home against the fresh bucks so these first couple plays are some first quarter plays that i really like uh first play is gonna be window carter jr of the orlando magic over three and a half first quarter points for minus 125 pacers are giving up the 18th most points to the center position and he's he's been one of those guys that i've been taking uh as many times as i can as of late he's gone over nine out of the last 10 games we just need him to get two baskets and you'll see the past couple of games he's been getting even more than two baskets so definitely like window carter jr um in this matchup against the fast pace uh pacers so he should get more shots up than he normally would and then second pick's gonna be gary harris of the magic over two and a half first quarter points this is at minus 105 so almost even money the Pacers give up the third most points to the shooting guard position and he's gone over this in seven out of the last eight games and he went over in both of the games he's played against the Pacers this season um, I found it a little weird I looked at his first quarter minutes and you'll see it pop up over the past seven games he's been playing nine plus minutes in the first quarter um, but then when you look at his final minutes, he's been playing 21 to 29 minutes. So almost like a half to a third of the minutes are being played in the first quarter. And then he just kind of disappears the rest of the game. So with his line being at two and a half uh, for first quarter points, I really like this opportunity for him. And if you guys could, please like the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a little bit of extra time, could you leave a comment for the algorithm? Um, Appreciate all the positive comments, even after bad days, bad days happen. So his next pick is going to be De'Aaron Fox over 30 and a half points plus rebounds at minus 125. He's playing against the Rockets who give up the 10th most points and the 10th most rebounds to the point guard position. And he's gone over this in seven out of the last eight games. They don't give up too many assists. I know assist, uh, it looks like he's been doing well with that and you could add that on, but uh, the Rockets, uh, just the matchup there is pretty tough. Uh, for assists for point guards and this fourth pick is going to be Jabari Smith Jr. of the Houston Rockets over 14 and a half points plus assist his points is at 13 and a half so just adding this assist is one extra this is at minus 125 the Kings are giving up the third most points and the third most assist to the power four position and uh, I know he's he's uh, upset people with rebounds as of late but with scoring and passing he hasn't been too bad he's gone over in six out of his last eight games uh, so I do like him in this matchup against the Kings in this fifth pick another guy who disappointed people last game but uh last time i picked him he did really well um because he had a really good matchup uh it's gonna be herbert jones over nine and a half points at minus 125 the hawks give up the third most points to the small forward position he's gone over in seven out of his last 10 games and uh, he went over the one time this year against the hawks and then you'll see on that image that he's gone over the other times he's played against the hawks in the past and before i get into this last pick i want to shout out my partners underdog fantasy sleeper parlay play and chalkboard use promo code find around 11 on any of these they'll match your first deposit up to 100 dollars and sleeper will do it up to 500 dollars. there'll be links in the description that'll take you straight there with the promo codes and thank you to anyone who uses those and this last pick is going to be josh hart over 21 and a half points plus rebounds at minus 111 the sixers give up the 10th most points and the ninth most rebounds to the small four position and he has just gone off as of late uh, especially with scoring His rebounding has always been good um, he's gone over this in nine out of the last 10 games and two out of the two games against the Sixers this season 
So I won't be doing any added plays, wake up in the morning um, and we're going to lose an hour of sleep. Most of us are going to lose an hour of sleep uh, and games are going to get started in the afternoon and everything like that. So um, if you would like to discuss lines further, I have, a, I have a discord. The link is in the description. You can hop on in there. There'll be conversation going on all day long in there. And if you do well with these picks and you feel like giving back, I have a cash app and Venmo in the description. You can donate back to the channel and thank you to the people who do donate. So I'm going to get this edited get it out to you guys i know it's a lot quicker of a video but i do really want to see uh these last few fights of this uh ufc card so uh, god bless you all it's final round my name is jordan i will catch you on the next one bye